I also think that we need to look at songwriting. If we want songs uh, to come out of our churches, um, uh, I think the wrong thing to do is to go to our churches and say, give us some songs. I think the right thing to do um, as pastors of local churches is um, to go seek the kingdom and to go see the kingdom come in our midst. And people, there will be a momentum that is built across the church and across wider than church, across communities. And if the kingdom is coming, then songs are going to come. I had a conversation with uh, Steve Barber from Leicester Vineyard, and we were talking about how excited we were about some of the things happening in our movement and starting to bubble up in our movement in the UK and Ireland. And uh, he just made this comment, there's going to be a soundtrack to that. Mm -hmm. And I think there's always a soundtrack um, when God's moving in power amongst his people and when the kingdom's coming, there's a soundtrack. And, and his people, his songwriters, will, will write songs. I think we've seen that in the history of our, of our vineyard movement over the, the decades, that, that, that God came and visited us as a people. And one of the many responses was songs came out of that. And so I think it's about seeking the Father's heart. I think it's about seeking the lost and inviting them to follow Jesus. I think it's about uh, going uh, for the presence in worship and carrying that presence wherever we go. And I think if we're busy doing that, then songs are going to come and good songs are going to come. Because they're, they're coming from a, a fresh place, a hot place, a, a potent place, where um, in the context where people are meeting Jesus through the local church and they're falling in love with him and giving their lives to him and um, they're then going and giving their lives away and um, we're going to be writing songs from that place rather than a, a place of no momentum and, and frustration where we feel like we have to come up with uh, the things that would touch the Father's heart instead of actually living out the things that are on the heart of God. One of, the, one of the exciting things is actually just helping people to figure out how they connect with Jesus. And, and creative people, I think sometimes in the church, we're, we're led down this road of, of believing that there's one, one track for connecting with Jesus. But some of us think a little bit differently. And um, I have love being a part of helping people to see that songwriting can be as much of of connecting intimately with Jesus as, say, someone else's quiet time or time with the Lord, um, and that it counts. So for instance, in, in Belfast, we've recently done a songwriter's life group, and the interesting thing for me has been that people have been shocked that that counts as a life group, and sometimes they've asked me, um, do I need to do another small group as well in order for it to count as a life group? Um, and it's really fun to get to say to them, no, actually this is part of your worship, this is, this is who you are, this is how God made you, and it counts just as much as the next life group. The other thing that we have really enjoyed doing is a thing that Dan Wilt introduced to us, which is, um, I think he calls it a worship circle, we've called it a worship jam. And um, just seeing people that don't get involved necessarily on a platform in worship, but have a little stirring in their hearts that they, they want to participate. They don't want to just be spectators. So getting people to move from that place of spectator to participant has been really fun. And so they bring all their random crazy instruments. I, I just love that, that people are learning how to express their worship in different ways and sometimes providing alternative uh, outlets for that can be really helpful because um, bringing your random instruments like the kazoo or whatever on a Sunday morning could be very much of a pastoral problem but in the context of the worship jam there's space and freedom for people to find their own way of participating which then unlocks something within them in order uh, for them to discover how God made them how they connect with Jesus and um, usually people find a, a level of freedom in those environments that they're really longing for and they can't necessarily get on a Sunday morning.